Hello guys and welcome back to an episode of my adventure and as you notice I am not in my regular single player world it's because I have decided to move my single player world or my adventure to a multiplayer world and this is a server that one of my friends or youtuber whatever uh, is hosting it's a 24 7 server and it's more like made for um him to get to know his like viewers and stuff like that and, and stuff like that <laughs> and i i'm one of his viewers and i was um on the server and i decided to record and stuff like that well you know, let's just get on to this this right here this nice big nice chair is the uh, spawn and then you walk out take like you can go around and be a nice person or just jump on the chairs <laughs> like i do and you come up to here and then read the rules and you know it's like everyday rules where it says to um, behave and stuff like them and uh right away you turn to your right or left it is bond garden like flowers, bushes, all that good stuff, trees, even, and a random fence post. Wow, so awesome. You you get out of spawn, and then you see, you see well, you're still in spawn, like spa spawn area. You see this humongous gravel uh, path. This is, these are plots, and each person has a, their own plot to live in. Now, the first plot I'm going to start off with is Wolfman's plot. Yeah, this is his plot. It's, I don't know what he's trying to do. I think he's trying to make his own quarry. Because it's just a huge hole. And then if you read the sign up there, which it says Throne of the Poor King. So, I'm not sure if he's trying to look like he's poor or something. So, we can give him stuff. <laughs> and then this is Mexican Nader. Or Mexican or whatever. And this is his type of modern house i think it's modern i don't know i haven't been inside him and then this is an empty plot and then before i head on that way and never mind just screw i'll head on this way i'll skip all these plots and come back right to them now if you cut walk up this way you're gonna see a random tree over there in a little bit uh lag well, you're gonna just, just let me generate the chunks. Alright, it's just one big of those random trees. It's just humongous. It's random. You don't need them. Unless you're gonna go chop it down. <laughs> and then over here is a tree farm. Which, why would you need that wood when you have a tree farm? And then you just keep on going this way into a XP farm. Alright, you get over here past the tree farm and then... You're going to see a cave spider mob spawner thing much bigger, made by a Mexican eater. And he did a nice job on designing this nice brick house, but not this way. <laughs> now you take the ladder down, because, uh, you know, mob spawners are to, like very low. You, you, you read the rules, but yeah. And then, like one of the rules says, um, if you want them to start spawning, you stand here. Oh shit, I didn't mean to break that. Torch. No, torch. There. And then once you're done, you just get your XP and mob chops there. And if you don't need anything else, it's there. Like, I can make that mob spawner thingy way more efficient. But um, I don't have access to do that. It's more like a community thing. And yeah. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks like you're walking up to lava. Alright, so now. We're heading back to spawn, but before I tell you that, you might have noticed that big place, but I'll go to that over there. Alright, uh, I got over here, and I'm, like this, I think it's probably going to be a city hall, I'm not sure. But, um, the gates are, are closed, or I should have been open. And, but, like, from what I can see, like, if you come over here, you're just going to see humongous redstone heart. I don't know why. Humongous rest on hard, and then you look inside. 
and man, it's dark in there. Like you, you just see mobs after mobs spawning. It's like, is that gonna be a, a area to spawn mobs in? I'm not sure. And over here, it is. It's um, Lake J King's plot. It's plot number eight. <laughs> he even left the number. And you just keep on walking. And over here, you're gonna have Steve's plot, which he's never done anything to. And you keep on walking. You come to Matt's plot. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure if the floor is supposed to be an A or just a floor. And then you keep on walking to the best little <laughs> house in this whole spawn, Grand Cheetah's plot. And instead of keep on going to that way, I'm gonna go show you the admins and owners. Over here is T Mad Hatters. He's an admin. And uh, yeah, pretty nice house. Average. And then this is uh, Dudley Snowball. Uh, Hizzy, is that what he's called? Dudley Snowball's Hizzy. Yeah. With the nice emerald statue, you know. <laughs> And yeah, that's their place, and they get a nice view of, like, the plots, and over here, the best house in this whole server, the moss is the owner's house, or area, or plot, it's not exactly a plot, because he has a nice sugarcane farm, sugarcane farm, sugarcane farm, even lots of mushrooms, lots of torches that I placed, um, a wheat farm that I made for him or, or expanded. He started it. He started a foundation, but I just made it bigger. And then you leave this grassy area and walk back to the gravel path. And you're going to see my sexy place with some spider webs floating. Because I have all those statues. I used to have that statue. Um, but I removed it because I didn't like it. So you walk over here to... Mm, a random plot as in Mike's plot and I think those are all the plots for now uh, so like mm, so now you keep on walking this travel path and you see the another hub like this is all they have done but inside it's just like empty like um you spawn in nowhere, it's like a portal of nowhere. And then you screw everything else, and then you take this bridge, the awesome bridge that Dudley made, and it leads all the way to his belief arena. I don't understand why they made this belief arena so far away. Why didn't they just make it like, I don't know, somewhere else useful? <laughs> or they probably wanted to go with the snow theme. But you go around this nice well. I don't know, you're probably dropping good luck coins. <laughs> but you keep on going under this mountain. And that's just belief. And the way you enter it is by doing slash belief join. Or if you don't. And, or if you forgot, you just go in here and read the instructions. And they're just basic instructions. No biggie. <clears throat> And I'm sure we're gonna have leaderboards or something that's why I mean this room so big, but it just says my players on um, minimal players required is two, max is eight, and it says to enter and then it says winner, winner, chicken dinner, you win that. Piece of cobblestone, awesome. <clears throat> so now let's go ahead back to my base. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned, this is going to be more of a world tour than my first episode, so I'm probably just going to name this uh, episode 5. I think that's what I'm on. I'm just going to name episode 5, it's, but it's more of a world tour. But over here, because I, I want to skip my base for now, Um, you go down this uh, nice long hallway, which leads into a desert, which leads into a PvP arena. Yeah, that's about it. PvP arena pretty nice like they're just two buttons saying if you want to go playing or if you want to go um I spectate or watch the game whatever something like that but yeah that's about it in this it's like very, very bright in the middle but yeah 
it's more of like I'm not sure if you you choose your own weapons. I've never even played it. Uh, the server's only been up for like two weeks. It's uh, still kind of new. And you just walk over here. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be over there, but it's called parkour, you know. And if I can get this jump, I'll show you <laughs> that you can walk over there. Ah, screw it. Oh yeah, see, and then you just enter. I think there's supposed to be like a throne here, so it can be like a Hunger Games type of deal or something. Well, yeah, that's about it for this part. And um, there is some like codes, like um, stuff you can do, like slash home, stuff like that. And this just takes me to my house, and it's just like starting off with the sign, and then you enter, and then you see this modern place, and I'll tell you that in a bit. It's not modern, it's more medieval. You walk in, you have a nice storage room, a nice kitchen for the ladies, and stuff like that. And let me take you upstairs and start making you look through the window. You walk up here, and there's a nice view of my bed with lapis blocks and a nice enchantment room. And I'm hearing lots of spiders for a reason. And then, oh shit. That scared me. Gave me a heart attack. Where are they coming from? Is there a mob spawner? Stupid crash. Get out of my way. What is this? It's been out of our pots. Alright, so. If you guys haven't noticed. This is one of Ito's design. It says more of a mob spawner type of thing. It is like. um, Like. Where you make a dark room. And then they spawn in there. Like. I'm gonna build this up to make it look more like a tower. Oh shit! Um, let me see if I can snipe them. Him, I can take on like nothing. Oh wait, why did I shoot it? But him, he's a scary one. Oh, damn it! And oh shit, it opened up. Mm, can I repair that? Yeah, I can. Just like the. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, well, I got that fixed. Um, now, let me go. Wait, I've showed you my base and stuff. Now, l let's, let me show you my secret layer of layerish. Right here is my infinite water source and my portal that was told to disable. Then you go down here. You see my nice chicken farm, which has about... 60, 70, about, about 80 chickens, let's just say that. Then you see my sexy farm, where you press the button and it harvests its uh, weeds and stuff like that. Let me move the ladders. I did have to go get a new ox slabs and ladders to um fix it up. Because he blew everything up, you know, so I need to get new stuff. Then my farm, my, you know, like. You, you go up and so like them. And then you keep on going down. Because you, you like going down. <laughs> you, you, you get my cow farm. Average cow farm. Then you get my sugar cane farm. Which it's like you press a button and stuff like that. And then you get my. Uh, my brewing stand that I designed. It's very, it's very simple. Like if you don't like seeing redstone stuff like. Hoppers and droppers, and I wouldn't recommend this for you. But you just press the button, and then it triggers all these droppers to drop in into that brewing stand. And like, yeah, it just makes potions for you. Instant damage for the spider farm, and then my uh, mushroom farm, which uh, it's not growing nice for some reason. I don't know. And then you go down, and then you keep on going down and down. And down, 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 and then right here is my mind system, but then you want to go here, press the button, and then go over here, follow this train system of awesomeness, turn left, turn right, cop off, and this is where, um, 
if you remember seeing the mobs, the thing, the Ito made thing, my trigger, or his design, yeah, that's what it is, it just died. And then you press that for one hit kill, and the other one hit kill, and it's just free XP, but you have to AFK. It's, it's not that most efficient because I still need to light up more caves and stuff like that. And then die. Yeah, we have to buy it. And then I have a fortune to pick, so that's why I have diamonds. Yeah, I haven't showed you my chest, but I'll show you later in uh, some episodes. You'll notice how they improve. I mean, I'm not that very organized, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's gonna be more multiplayer videos instead of my single player videos. I explained this in the beginning, but I'll end it off explaining it again. I'm gonna be switching off my single player world for this. Playing a multiplayer world because it's more efficient. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know this step. Wow. Alright, uh. <laughs> What was it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've seen stuff. Well, uh, I'm just gonna end it off now. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching and peace.